It is a salient feature of ping pong balls. Perhaps their most interesting feature is their complete inability to hurt anybody. My school does not have a pool table in it. I believe that's because the pool cues are deadly weapons. And pool balls, well, besides the fact you can make people try to swallow them, which is tons of fun, um, you can throw them at each other. But a ping pong ball, even if you throw it at somebody, it, you can't hurt them with a ping pong ball. And so we let them have a ping pong ball table. And I've seen kids try to hurt each other with ping pong balls, and it's just a complete, it's an abject failure. And so I thought to myself, wouldn't it be fun to come up with a way to actually use a ping pong ball as a weapon? And so I tried to make a compressed air ping pong ball gun. <laughs> and the problem is, is that the compressed air tends to crush the ping pong ball before it actually fires it. I mean, you can, there are ways of getting around this, but ping pong balls are not terribly tough. Um, and the reason why you can't, it's so hard to use a ping pong ball as a weapon is because for its mass, it weighs about five grams, for its mass, it has an awful lot of air resistance because it's big. And so it slows down very fast. Like even if you could shoot a ping pong ball at 100 miles an hour, before it got very far, it would only be going 10 miles an hour. And that's what makes them safe. And so I thought about this for some time and I thought to myself, you know, if the problem with ping pong balls is the air, the solution is getting rid of the air, and that's what this is. This is a ping pong ball cannon. <laughs> and the way it works is, I've got this long tube here that I'll put a ping pong ball in and I'll blow it so it goes all the way to the end. All right, so now it's all the way at the other end. And I'll seal up the ping pong ball, the cannon, with these pieces of uh, mylar. Uh, they're made from emergency blankets, which I uh, stole from my school. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and uh, so I put one on both ends. And then I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna uh, plug in this um, vacuum pump and I'm going to draw the air out of the tube so there's no air left. Then we'll puncture the end of the tube, air will start rushing in. So there's about three square inches of space there. I think atmospheric pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch, so about 45 pounds of force is going to be applied on five grams of ping pong ball. I know that's missing units, but you all don't care. And <laughs> the exit velocity of the ping pong ball is in excess of 350 miles an hour. So, <laughs> so I'll put the can right here because I don't like to miss. <laughs> and neither does the Cal Academy. <laughs> and I'll put this here as well to ensure um, that, you know, nothing bad can happen. This is a blast field. And uh, this can be kind of loud. Uh, there's a reason they made me do this outside. Uh, I can't put on my, I can't cover my ears at the right moment because I'll be busy doing something else. I'll be busy puncturing in. So I'm going to wear ear muffs. Um, I'll tell you, I'll put my hands over my ears to tell you when it's time to do it. Um, it takes a few seconds, it takes about 30 seconds or so to draw all the air out. You'll see me do putting my hand right here. That's me feeling the air coming out. Right? This is the exhaust vent. It's not actually a handle. And so I'll, that'll let me know when all the air is out of it. I don't have a pressure gauge. I'll close this valve so that the air can't rush back in. And then I'll puncture the end. Everyone ready? Yeah. All right. Anyone see where the can went? Huh? 
Oh, thank you. Wow. So that's pretty, that's a, that's a good sign. <laughs> I use that towards the beginning of the year. It's really not the appropriate spot of the year for the topic, but I'd like to use it to help kids understand their place in the universe. 